A new melee weapon is up for grabs in Battlefield 1 this summer. DICE is putting on a run of three missions for players that all need to be completed to be rewarded with the new weapon, along with some nice dog tags and some squad XP boosts as well. Part of me thinks that this is a lead up to the new progression system being added in September with the In the Name of the Tsar expansion. These missions are just tasters of what's to come. So the melee weapon itself then, the LVC RDT knife. This is currently only accessible within the single player section of Battlefield 1 if you play the Avanti Savoia War Story. In that one, you play as Luca, an RDT soldier, and you're on a quest to storm an Austro-Hungarian mountain fort when your brother is caught up in a mountain slide. Now, the knife is fairly simple looking, but it's one that's modelled off of what the RDT would have used during World War I. DICE have then added the engraved initials of Luca, the soldier you play as, LVC, into the blade. This is your prize for completing the three missions set out by DICE, but it seems already one of them has been run previously and is being run again. Back in June, the first of three missions was announced by DICE, the first one being named Call to Action. This required you to play, complete and win three matches of operation, so it took up a fair bit of time. You were rewarded with the Call to Action dog tag and a squad XP boost. And again, you were lured with the fact that if you completed all three missions over the next couple of months, you would get a special prize. But it seems that most players didn't get their dog tag, and they didn't get their squad XP boost, or they just didn't know that the mission was active. It wasn't very well advertised. Perhaps DICE realised that a lot of people just didn't complete it the first time round, and they're giving everybody another shot at it. There's no official word from DICE right now, but I for one don't mind it being run again. I never completed it the first time around. I was in America at the time and didn't have access to my PC. Now this brand new first call to action mission will be active from July 15th to July 23rd. All you have to do is play, complete and win three full operations matches and you'll get the call to action dog tag on the 31st of July and then your squad XP boost will be given to you when you log in between July 23rd and July 30th. I'm not sure why DICE isn't using the new mission tracker for these missions, that would have been the best place to do it. Now my advice would be if you completed the mission last time and you didn't get the dog tag I would do it again so that this time you do get the dog tag and even if you did complete it it might be wise just doing it all again so that you can 100% make sure you've completed the first of these three challenges. As I've said, if you don't complete all three, you don't get the RDT knife. DICE does say in their blog post for these summer missions that there's going to be another reward for players who complete all three, but they're keeping that a secret right now. Personally, I'd love for them to drop the Care Package 1911 skin that was recently revealed in the Nivelle Knights Battle Pack revision. It is a shame that DICE made it a super rare skin, and perhaps offering it out as a reward for these missions would be a better thing for the community. It is a really nice looking skin. So there you go, a new melee weapon coming to the game and the promise of something else special being given to you if you complete all three missions. And this is all before the Russian DLC in September, where they'll be giving out 11 primary and secondary weapons as well, along with brand new melee weapons for that DLC. I think it's going to be pretty fun grinding all of those. Thank you very much for watching, you're all up to date with Battlefield 1 again, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.